What's up everybody, welcome to my YouTube page. So this weekend I got the opportunity to cut hair at the Live Golf Tournament here in Miami. As a fan of golf, I'm super excited for this. As you can see, they gave me my staff badge and I'm gonna be cutting fans, players, and uh, staff. So stay tuned, let's see how this goes. Just got myself some Chick-fil-A, now I'm gonna head to the shop and get my tools together. On my way to the shop, I'm passing the golf course. You can already see a ton of people are coming in to watch the golf. Give you guys a little look at the shop right here. My station, I'm gonna go ahead and get my briefcase set up. Shuttling me into the course. Making my way into the facility right now. Check me for weapons. Now I'm heading into this media center. So here we are inside. This is the setup we got going right here. My boy Marlin and my chair right here. So originally I was under the impression that we were just going to be giving haircuts to whoever wanted it, but it was actually a part of a charity set up by the golfer Cam Smith. So people could get any haircut they wanted, but if they wanted to get a mullet, they would donate $1,000 to Hurricane Ian Relief. Quick side note, throughout the weekend they had musical artists performing, which was super dope. So here are some of the mullets that I did, some of my favorites. As you'll see, this next one is pretty badass. I did the American flag in his head. So here's golfers Cam Smith and Joaquin Neiman. As you can see in this clip, Cam tried to cut him up a mullet. You know he had to come in afterwards and clean it up a little bit. For those of you who don't know, Cam Smith was recently ranked number one golfer in the world. Got to chop it up, take a picture with him. Super cool dude. So for those of you wondering how I got the opportunity to do this, it's actually a pretty crazy story. A regular looking dude came into my shop. He was just a walk-in and one of my homeboys cut him up. Gave him a good haircut, they had a good conversation. At the end of the cut, he basically told him that he runs all of like the management for the Live Golf Foundation. And so he hired us to go out there and do the cut. I mean, that just goes to show that no matter who your client is, treat them like they're a VIP and you never know that the opportunities that'll come out of that. Not only did I get paid, get to meet some players and do some cuts, I also got to watch some golf, which is super cool. I've never actually watched a pro tournament like this. It's really motivating and inspiring to see all the experiences that barbering is allowing me to have, even in early stages of my career. Overall, I had an amazing weekend. I think we were able to do 100 and 35 mullets so we raised one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars for hurricane ian relief not to mention having a great time with my friends and co-workers to all the barbers and aspiring barbers watching this whether you're into sports music or really anything i want to let you know that cutting hair can get you into the community that you want to be a part of my goal with this channel is to show you some of the aspects of barbering that isn't typically talked about by other youtubers I know the editing on this one might have been a little rough, but I promise it'll improve with time. And if you like this content, please drop a subscription for me. And if you guys want to check out my other social media, Instagram and TikTok, it's also Big E Cuts, the same as the channel name on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.